welcome to Bolton Academy's 2021 Virtual Art Exhibition. Every year, I sat to Botan Academy on 2021. I am Hasea, Botan Academy 2021 Art Exhibition Hasea. Добро пожаловать на Botan Academy виртуальную художественную выставку. Bienvenidos a la exposición de arte virtual 2021 de Bolton Academy. You know, we are rising sixth graders and we have one month left for school. Sabes que nosotros vamos a ser estudiantes de sexto grado y nos queda solo un mes para la escuela. Yes, I've been thinking about that. Sí, yo he estado pensando en eso. I'm looking forward to going to middle school next year, but I'm going to miss being at Bolton Academy. Tengo muchos ganas de ir a la escuela secundaria en próximo año, pero voy a extrañar estar en Bolton Academy. Really? You're going to miss being at Bolton Academy? ¿De verdad vas a extrañar estar en Bolton Academy? Yes, I will. Sí. I know. I will miss being aquí. Lo sé, extrañar estar aquí. As fourth graders, you will have more to look forward to next year as fifth graders. Como estudiantes de cuarto grado, debes observar las cosas que te esperan en quinto grado. Great. The school year will probably be more normal. We can experience some of the events and activities that happened at Bolton before the pandemic. Sí, el año escolar probablemente será más normal. Podemos experimentar experimentar algunos de los eventos y acti actividades que ocurran en Bolton durante uh, antes de la pandemia. I cannot wait. No puedo esperar. Well, it has definitely been a challenging year, but we have some positive things happen this year. Definitivamente ha sido un año desafiante sin ande en pabco también sus dieron un ganos cosas positivas. Yes, we have accomplished some important things in our visual art class. Sí, hemos logrado algunas cosas importantes en nuestra clase de artes visuales. Yes, I'm excited about this happening. Sí, yo estoy emocionado de que esto sucede. Miss Walls would not let her know your past about us having an art exhibition. La señora de Wells no dijera pasar otro año sin que tuviéramos nuestros exhibitions de, de arte. Now that I think about it, we've had an art exhibit every year I've attended Bolton Academy except for last year. Ahora que lo pienso, Durante todo el tiempo que he estado a Bolton Academy, hemos tenido un exhibito de arte, excepto el año pasado. I remember when this event was called the Night of the Arts. Yo recuerdo el evento era llamando la noche de las artes. Then it became our showcase, and we got to show off our art and classroom projects. Luego se convirtió en un convierto de en nuestra manera mostrar nuestras obras de arte y proyectos clase. That was a lot of fun. Eso fue muy divertido. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun this year too. Estoy seguro que va a ser muy divertido este año también.
Congratulations, students at Bolton Academy. At the High Museum, we're so proud of you, of all the work that you've done and made throughout the year. We know it's been a tough year, but you've managed to keep being creative and artistic no matter what. We can't wait to see what you do next and congratulations again. You know, I'm really going to miss our class trips at High Museum. We learned a lot about various cultures through toys and art. Sabes que voy a extrañar nuestras excursiones a el Museo High. Aprendimos mucho sobre diferentes culturas, tradiciones de arte. Miss Walls include, included students from all grade levels in this exhibition. La señora Walls incluyó a estudiantes de todos los grados en la exhibición. What kind of project do you think the pre-K students are creating? ¿Qué tipo de proyecto crees que están haciendo los estudiantes de pre-kinder este año? What type of artwork have you created? A heart, and we also use something else, another rainbow. a rainbow. So it's going to be a combination of a heart and a rainbow. Okay. And do you know what a symbol is? What is a symbol? Um, It means you have what? Love. love. It's a symbol of love. Excellent. So what does the symbol mean for your project? Is it the same thing? Love and also how we treat each other, right? And what do we call that? Yes, what do we call that? We call that love. Well, I want you to remember that we saw a video before class as part of the lesson. What was that video about? Being kind. Being kind. Thank you for remembering that, Benji. Being kind. All right? And how did we create the artwork? How do we create it? Leland? With paint. With paint? And what else was used? Because I think you all have... Not cotton balls. But what is, not markers, I have not crayons. What did what did what did you put your hands in? Paper. You had to use paper. And what did you do with the paper? You stuck it in the food coloring. Food coloring and shaving cream. Wow. Okay, so it made marbleized paper. Okay? And that was very interesting. Okay, did you enjoy creating this project? Yes. Yes? Wonderful. Well, it sounds like it was very exciting and you enjoyed exploring. And I hope all of the viewers will enjoy your, your project as much as I enjoyed working with you. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Wow. Sounds like the pre-K students had a lot of fun creating their project. Why? Parece que los estudiantes pre-kinder se divertieron mucho con creando sus proyectos. Hey, do you remember the art project we created as kindergarten artists? I wonder what the kindergarten artists are creating this year. Oye, ¿recuerdas el proyecto de arte que creamos como artistas en kindergarten? Me, pregun me pregunto que esta estando creando los artistas the kindergarten este año. What type of artwork have you created? Dots. 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 Great. And who is the artist that you are inspired by to create your artwork? I'm happy that you all remember that. Okay. Um, what did you learn from the video that you viewed for your lesson? Abby? You can make any type of dot and write Excellent. Would anybody else like to share? What did you learn, David? Right. You can make it large or small. Okay. Anything else that you should do for your as you're creating your project, Parker? Um, we can have your own designs and 
Yeah. Okay. Ume, is there anything that you would like to share? Okay, thank you. All right. Are there any interesting facts that you learned about this artist? David? Okay. He's a great artist. He's a great artist. Wonderful. Abby? He can be inspired by so much all the different colors. Yes, that is awesome. Would anybody else like to share? Okay. And after reflecting, did you enjoy working on this project? Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, that is what is most important. And I'm happy that you all enjoyed working on this particular project and learning about Yayoi Kasama. Thank you. I was able to see the Kusama exhibit at the High Museum with my family. The kin kindergarten students did a great job. Job Hubeb Bib of Exposition de Kazuma in his Museo High con mi familia. Los estudiantes de kindergarten hicieron uno buen trabajo. I have a sister in Mrs. Atcock's class. She seems excited about her project, but I don't know what she's creating. Yo tengo una hermana en la clase de la señora Atcock. Ella se ve muy ilusionado con su proyecto, pero no sé qué está haciendo. That's what makes attending the art exhibition so much fun. Each grade level's projects are different and revealed during the art exhibit. Esto es yo que hacer la ex, exposición de arte más divertida. Los proyectos de cada grado son diferentes y tenemos la oportunidad de verlos durante la exhibición. What type of artwork have, we, have you created? Excellent. And the hot air balloon can be used for what? Transportation. Okay, excellent. Thank you for remembering that. All right. Um, how did we create the artwork? Lines, colors, and shapes. Okay, so what do we call those? Lines, shapes, colors, what do we call those? Art. Art elements? Art. Yeah. Okay, well, elements of art. Uh, yes, okay, or elements of art. Okay, which artist were you inspired by to create your artwork? Okay, can someone tell me why? That showed motion. Oh, yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, and um. How did you create your project? Okay, if I can just have a risk taker raise their hand just to tell us, the viewers would like to hear about the steps that we took in the process. Does anybody remember? To do? Okay, okay let me hear from one person at a time, please. So, okay, Danielle. We use pencil to draw, we use the Sharpie to outline, and we used it color and sign, and we cut, folded it out and stitched it, I mean, and put it along our watercolor paper. Okay, all right. So you mentioned drawing, but what did you draw? Hot air balloon. Well, a, a hot air balloon, but what was inside the hot air balloon? Lying. Okay, so I think all the viewers would like to um, know that you are stretch, that you are knowledgeable in creating all different types of lines. Okay, all right. Well, it sounds like you did an 
excellent job with uh, describing the project. And I'd like to know, did you learn anything from your experiences with exploring? Yeah, does anybody, does anybody have anything that you would like to share about what you've learned, Kai? Kai? Okay, thank you. Callie? Thank you. Thank you for that. And Nia? We learned our lines and shapes. Okay, about lines and shapes. Okay, well, thank you so very much for participating. And I think the viewers would be happy to know that you've learned so much. And I do appreciate your interest and participation. Thank you. I saw my brother working on an interesting second grade project. He told me he, he and his classmates had had fun designing paper inspired by the artist Eric Carl. Yo vi a mi hermano trabajando en un interesante proyecto de segundo grado. Él me dijo que él y sus compañeros de clase se divirtieron diseñando papel inspirado de en el artista Eric C Carl. What type of artwork have you created? Okay. A collage of organic paper okay thank you so very much all right i'd like to know if you remember the artist that we are inspired by for this project Henri yes Henri matisse thank you so very much all right so what type of materials were used for the project amelie My scissors glue glue paper and colored paper okay so what are some of the things that you remember learning uh, as you have created this collage. Okay. Carter? That we make organic shapes. Yes, and we know that organic shapes are different from what other kind of shapes? Amelie? Geometric shapes because they're shapes such as circles, triangles, and diamonds, and organic shapes are, are shapes of things out of nature that are not our regular shapes. Yes, that is absolutely correct. And uh, you've described the difference as well. Okay. Um, are there interesting facts that you learned about the artist, Andre Matisse? Miles? Yes, that when he was real, he, he, liked, he, liked to do, he liked to do abstract. He liked to create abstract artworks? Okay, most definitely. Thank you. All right. Um, what did you learn from your experience of uh, exploring with this project? So the exploration, what do you think, Amelie? We're creating, creating super cool art uh, and making organic shapes and creating something new in like nature or what your house looks like. Okay, excellent. And Micah, did you want to share? Um, Can learn how to cut scissors yes. Okay, like Andre Matisse and Miles. Yes. And that we can be inspired by other people. Wonderful. Okay, I like that. Jagger, did you have anything to share? Um, that, that we can learn how to fold paper from the metal. Okay, excellent. Yes, Amelie. And you can also learn from your from mistakes. Yes, absolutely. Okay, Carter. You don't have to. It doesn't have to be great. But just try your best, though. Okay, and that's with every artwork that we're creating, right? Okay, absolutely. Miles, did you have a last or final remark? Mm -hmm. Okay, what is it? That it's okay if you if you know you can you can try again. Yes, we always have the opportunity to try again. And it sounds like you all have learned to uh, use oops as a guideline, right? Beautiful oops. Okay. So I know that our audience is waiting uh, to see your great artworks. I want to say thank you so very much for participating. And I'm sure that they're going to enjoy seeing your marvelous organic designs. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Parece que los artistas de segundo grado se divirtieron mucho y, y son 
extremely talented. Several second-rate artists participated in the Picture Your Path 400 art competition earlier this year. Various artistas de segundo grado participaron en el concurso de arte Picture Your Path 400 a principio de este año. experience was amazing. We have some talented artists at Bolton Academy. Wow, esa experiencia fue incredible. Tenemos artistas talentosos en Bolton Academy. What type of artwork have you created? Or in other words, what was the media that was used for your project? Blake? A drawing. A drawing, thank you. And what is the subject matter of the drawing? Okay. Elijah? Leaves. Leaves. Okay, everyone needs to know that. All right. Um, I also wanted to ask what type of uh, art elements were used? Liam? Overlapping shapes and colors. Okay, so we did overlap shape and color. There's another art element that was used, Michaela? Lines. Lines, uh, demonstrating your wonderful use of lines. Thank you. All right, so how did you create the artwork? Charlie? We created the artwork, like the map, with abstract. Okay, so that was the second project, but the primary project, um, let me have Riley and then Elijah, okay? Overviewing. Okay. All right. Uh, did you want to expand any more on yes, that? I would like to say um, dark eye observation because we had to, when we started out drawing, we had to look at leaves and Okay, excellent. Yes, and okay. Can you share, Blake? Um, and also, we had to work on our overlapping to make like the leaves that are on top of each other or under each other. Okay, all right, very good. All right, so I wanted to also ask if you learned anything while you were exploring with this project, Blake? I learned two things in one how to overlap and make it seem like things are upon themselves. And also, I learned if you put more density on the crayons, the color pops out and with all the colors together and mixing up and all in one piece of paper, then you can really see the color and you can really see the color and like how hard and pressure and you can see like the wax if you pressure it hard enough. Okay, great. All right, Liam, did you have uh, yeah. more that you wanted to add? Um, I mean that nature isn't just something to look at, it's something to use to make art. Oh, that sounds very inspirational. Charlie? I think that art is always moving. Yes, it is. All right, was there something specific that you remember learning about the leaves? Okay, uh, Blake? Um, I specifically learned the shape of them and also how with the design of the thing in the middle where there's a bunch of lines that we would use to separate off the different types of shapes and lines we would use. Okay, so I think you're talking about the veins in the leaves? Yes. Okay, excellent. All right, so we did explore, and I do appreciate all of you exploring and uh, participating in this particular project, okay? And I hope that you are happy and the viewers will be happy with what they see. I know that I am, okay? Thank you so very much for participating. I am wondering what fourth grade artists are creating. I'm sure their project will be interesting. All right, fourth grade artists, please tell our audience, what type of media have you used for your project? 
Wow. Okay, great. And it's okay if you raise your hand individually. Okay, so collage and your collage uh, project is inspired by which artist? Okay, great. Can anyone tell me some interesting facts that you, you remember about Romeo Bearden? Okay, Sebastian? Yeah, Cat. Okay, and anything else? Thank you. Well, when you mentioned that he had a cat, uh, that's important because of the subject matter. So let me ask you, what is the subject matter of your particular project? Animals in their eyes. Great, and so now our audience understands why you mentioned his cat, okay? So are there anything, I, I mean, is there anything else that you would like to tell the audience about Romeo Bearden? Yes, Maria? He was an African American Yes, yeah, definitely. Um, do you all remember where he was from? Mexico? No, not Mexico. Uh, New Mexico. No, not New Mexico. How about New York? New York. Oh. Yes. Okay, but there was a um, a particular part of New York that he is from. Does anybody remember? Okay, how about if I give you the clue of the big bands and um, yeah, the block. Okay, well they may have called it the block, but where was the block located? Yes, Harlem. Renaissance. Yes, the Harlem Renaissance. Thank you for remembering that. Okay. And the, again, that's where we saw the big bands um, and all of the entertainers and how everyone flocked to New York then because of how popular the culture was at that time. It was an explosion of culture. Yes, Sebastian? He liked jazz. Yes, yes. So he was a big fan of jazz. And that is the reason why you also heard jazz uh, during some of the classes when the art was being created, right? All right. So is there any, well, let's talk about the um, collage. How, how is that process? What, what would you do in order to complete a collage artwork? Okay, let me, Alana. Oh, yes, and that is important so that we, we um, are not seeing any white spaces, right? And remember, there was one other thing that was important about uh, Romeo Bearden's artwork. Like other artists, like Faith Ringgold, uh, there was something else that was very important. As artists, we tell what? Story. Thank you. Okay. And in this case, they were memories. Okay. Uh, memories being told. But you are telling yours because we know that is it is important to learn about animals and the habitats that they live in. All right. So you all mentioned that that was your subject matter. Um, and you have created awesome projects that I know that your parents uh, the Bol and the Bolton community are waiting to see, all right? So uh, would anybody else like to share anything? Yes, Maria? He was inspired by Pablo Picasso. Uh, okay, well, he was inspired by Pablo Picasso? Yes, most definitely. And you can see that in his artwork, okay? All right, well, thank you so very much. I appreciate you all, and um, I know that everybody is looking forward to seeing your art. All right, thank you. I think fourth grade artists learned a lot about animals and their habitats. I cannot wait to see their art. Yo creo que los artistas de cuarto grado aprendieron mucho sobre los animales y sus habitats. No puedo esperar para ver sus obras de arte. Don't forget we had a lot of fun learning about African American history during our black history program. No olvides que nos dedicamos mucho of aprendimiento sobre la historia afroamericana durante nuestro programa de historia afroamericana. I really enjoyed learning about African American artists such as B. Mike, Carol Walker, and Hale Woodruff. De verdad, yo disfruté aprendiendo sobre artistas afroamericanos como B. Mike, Kara Walker, y Hale Woodruff. And what about Faith Ringgold, Romeo Bearden, and the big bands of the Harlem Renaissance? Y que hay de Faith Ringgold, Romeo Bearden, y, lo, y las grandes banderas de 
del documentario de Harmlin. All of their art styles were unique and they contributed a lot to the art world. Todos sus estilos artísticos fueron únicos y contribuyeron mucho al mundo del arte. Peace, this is Brandon B. Mike Odoms. I'm a visual artist from New Orleans. Um, I believe that art has power, that artists have responsibility, and I'm excited to be able to create and, and live up to that responsibility to travel the world and create murals, um, as well as in New Orleans, my home city. Um, I believe that art has a power to create change, that art has power to amplify voices and remind us why we're beautiful. Um, I'm excited to learn that many Bolton Academy artists were interested in creating drawings of me um, for their 2021 Black History program. Um, I'm, I'm excited and, and honored that one would think uh, that my face is, is, is cool enough to, to create a portrait of. Um, you know, I think it's impo important when we think about art that all art is about communication. It's about telling your story and telling your truth. And no one can do that better than you. So continue to push forward and create and remind us uh, why we're all beautiful, why our stories are beautiful. So I appreciate y'all and I'm happy to, 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 to connect with you all. Peace. That was very awesome and inspiration. Eso fue asombroso y inspirado. Yes, it was. I cannot believe it. Sí, era. No puedo creerlo. Bueno, sabemos que lo mejor del show siempre es lo para lo último. Of course, and that's the fifth grade art projects. I am looking forward to seeing our projects. Por supuesto. Y esos son los proyectos de arte de quinto grado. Espero ver nuestros proyectos. And now we have our fifth grade class who are rising sixth graders. And I know that they uh, would love to share information about their project. Uh, so the, my first question for you is what type of art have you created? So in other words, what is the media that was used? Adrian? A collage. Collage, thank you. Ellie? Um, yeah, a paper collage. Okay, all right, so I'm glad you mentioned paper because remember, there were other materials that this particular artist used to include in the artwork. All right, so without revealing his name already, uh, I wanna ask what are the materials we'll use? Cal? Paper, pictures, and colors. Okay, uh, yes, that, and uh, there was more, Amari? Um, we can use magazines and papers. Okay, and Adrian, you had your hand up? Yes. Okay. And Alex? Yes. All right. So just wanted to uh, make sure our audience understands that um, there was a lot of depth to his work. Okay. And who was the artist? Bearden. Yes. All right. Does anybody remember any interesting facts about Wilmere Bearden? Amari? Um, I remember that he was born in Harlem. Yes. Okay. So Harlem, New York. Yes, Cal? Yes. And, and was very interested in jazz music. Yes. And that is the reason why uh, we played jazz as you all were creating your artworks in class. Ellie? Um, I can say he was um, the sample to God who was the gold. Do you all remember? Yeah, Faith Ringgold? Yeah. Okay. So she had similar experiences because she also created memories in her artwork. Okay. And we definitely want to make sure that our audience understands that his art is about memories. memories. Thank you. All right. So I also wanted to ask, um, what did you learn from your experiences of exploring with this particular project? Amari? I learned how to use many different colors and um, the same, I guess, picture or the same art that I'm trying to create. Okay, all right, Ellie? I learned that you can make a picture in many different ways, and I've never made a collage picture before, so it was something that I learned how to do. 
Okay, thank you. Uh, Alice, you had your hand up and then Callum's coming to you. I learned that you can make do with some things that you thought you couldn't. Like, for example, you can make uh, a green painted roof out of grass. Yes, so um, this was definitely a um, mixed media project. And so again, um, I wanna make sure that everybody understands that Ramir Bearden um, had a lot of depth in his artwork. And yes, Cal? I also learned that you can use different colors and different shades to create like a more life life and realistic um, image. So you can use like different shades of green to create a more life like tree or jungle. Okay, all right. And use different shades of blue and white to represent the sky. Okay, all right, excellent. All right, so my last question for you is after reflection, what type of memories can you share? Okay, uh, Cal? Um, when every summer I go with my grandparents in California and it was really fun. We go on the hike. There's a mountain and you're supposed to come out. And once we got to the top, there's a cow statue, so that was pretty cool. All right. Just being in California, surfing, getting bullied in the ocean, it was really wonderful. Okay, great. Because I want the audience to understand that you needed to focus on uh, rising from the pandemic. Uh, and when I say that, we, we are either looking forward to what will happen in the future, what you're looking forward to, or just reflecting on uh, positive things that happened during the pandemic, like spending more time with your family, right? And appreciating that. Okay. Yes, Ellie? Um, I'm learning I need to really at least take time and um, really take each day and forget kind of stomach during the pandemic and what did it do to my brain. Um, uh, so it was, it was different than I thought it would be because I usually stay at home um, and I'm not pretty good. Um, I'm not pretty Okay, and Amari, I didn't want to leave you out. Yeah, so um, my memory was when the, the IELTS are last year. Um, I went to visit my grandma in Florida, and that was like the first time in a long time just before I did for like the middle of the year. Like during the year, maybe like on school break. So I really enjoyed it because I also got to see my cousins and my own uncle. So we went to the beach and we got to play in the sand and in the water. And it was really fun. All right. And we got to see the water. Okay. Well, all of your experiences sound wonderful, and I know that you are looking forward to experiencing even more with family and friends, all right? And um, it's going to be a great year. Just wanted to let you all know as rising sixth graders, okay? Well, thank you for sharing, and I know that our audience is going to uh, anticipate seeing your project. Thank you. That was awesome, too. I enjoyed learning about how Ramir Bearden created his art for memories within, the, within his community. Eso también fue asombroso. Yo disfruto saber cómo Ramir Bearden fue, fue su arte a partir de recuerdos dentro de su comunidad. Did you know we had two fifth grade artists represent our Bolton community in 2021 GAEA Capital Art Exhibition. Sabías que tuvimos dos artistas de quinto grado que representaron a nuestra comunidad de Bolton en la exhibición de arte del capítulo GAEA 2021. Hello, my name is Stephanie Walls. I am an art educator at Bolton Academy Elementary School, which is located in Atlanta, Georgia and is in Fulton County. I am happy to be with you today. 
uh, to acknowledge Senator Corazina Tate, Representative Sheila Jones, who are part of our district, and also uh, newly elected Representative Nakima Williams, Senator John Ossoff, and Senator Raphael Warnock. Congratulations. Thank you for being part of the support that is given to our students and for helping to make a whole child in your, in your support of our education. I also would like to thank Superintendent Richard Woods for all of the support that you give. It is greatly appreciated. However, right now, I would like to turn the attention to two of my talented and amazing students that are here at Bolton Academy. Hi, I'm Pepper Redmond, a fifth grade student at Bolton Academy Elementary School. I'm happy to share my drawing of the artist Ernie Barnes as a part of the Youth Art Month. Thank you, Senator Hersina Tate, Representative Sheila Jones, and Superintendent Woods for taking the time to look at our work and for supporting the education of Georgia. Hi, I'm Ella Johnson, a fifth grade student at Bolton Academy Elementary School. I'm happy to share my drawing of the artist Jean-Michel Basquiat as a part of the Youth Art Month. Thank you, Senator Hersina Tate and Representative Sheila Jones and Superintendent Woods for taking your time to look at our work and for supporting our education in Georgia. Happy Youth Art Month, and thank you so very much for all of your support. Now that was truly inspirational, and I feel as though I can be whatever I want to be in life. Eso fue realmente inspirador, y siento que puedo ser lo que yo quiero ser en la vida. When we leave Bolton Academy, I hope we remember that Miss Wells told us Often, we are Bolton strong. Cuando salgamos de Bolton Academy, espero que podemos recordar que nos que nos hiciera Miss Walls. Nosotros somos Bolton strong, fuertes. Good evening, Bolton family and community stakeholders. It has been my great pleasure to have our Bolton Academy artists present our 2021 virtual visual art exhibition. We hope you have enjoyed this portion of the exhibition. Although we all have had a challenging year, I am extremely hopeful that our future will be brighter. This year was certainly like no other. My entire year as a visual arts educator has been a collaborative experience with students, parents, childcare providers, colleagues, and administrators. We had to rely on each other for the completion of upload of projects, storage of art in a safe place, as well as monitoring progress and providing feedback. In the past, it has been my sole responsibility for all of the above. As an artist, I know our drive fuels an inner strength of creativity, which encourages others. This visual art exhibition is a celebration of our expression of art and learning. We must provide positive means for our children to rise above obstacles assure them that this time will pass and they are survivors. We coexist now in a wonderful world of hope and promise in our lives. We are documenting history through our art making and storytelling. We must act to make this world a better place. We are in the right place to make that happen. Bolton Academy Elementary School, a great place to learn as an IB school. We are Bolton Drawn. Thank you to each artist represented in our first art, first virtual art exhibition. Your commitment is admirable. The Bolton community and I appreciate your effort and expression of creativity, even when you are inspired to create beyond our required assignments, like Mia's robot, which is fantastic. And she is a first grade artist. I am Equally thankful to your parents for following up and supporting your efforts. I am thankful to all of our risk-taking artists who entered art competitions this year. I commend you for your bravery in engaging in opportunities to develop your artistic skills. In addition, for this reason, I am extremely proud 
to acknowledge our two amazing and talented artists selected as finalists to create murals in the Picture Your Path 400 competition sponsored by Livable Buckhead. They are Jagger Rogers, a second grade artist from Mrs. Young Watson's class, and Elizabeth DeBrocka, a former fifth grade artist from Ms. Fanning's class. Bolton Academy was the only elementary school that placed with two students out of a total of eight. I'm also equally proud of Ella Johnson and Piper Redman in Ms. Fanning's class for their participation in the 2021 Capital Art Exhibit sponsored by the Georgia Art Education Association celebrating Youth Art Month. This event held a virtual exhibition for the first time also. You can access links provided on Bolton Academy's social media sites if you are interested in additional viewing of these events. I am especially grateful to the encouragement, inspiration, and generosity of time afforded by Kate McLeod from the High Museum of Art and the amazingly talented visual artist, Brandon B. Mike Odoms from New Orleans. Finally, thank you for the support of my administration, Mrs. Anita Lawrence, Mrs. Lena Scharf, Fine Arts Coordinator, Dr. Sarah Womack, my specials team and colleagues, Mrs. Mel Melanie Haley, the spirit of our IB coordinator, Ms. Monica Varner, Artime, video editor, Jerome Trimble, and the patients of my family. Now it is time to present our fabulous Bolton Academy artists. Please take time to view the gallery of artworks by clicking on the link provided. If you would like to order your child's framed art or duplications, please place your order online by the deadline on Friday, May 14th, 2021. Thank you so very much. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Yes, I think to myself, what a wonderful world.